it's getting really nasty and dreary out there. Yeah, it's raining right now. I'm glad I'm stuck inside. Anyway, it's time to do some burnishing. Actually, I've already started, and we're going to do a before. I guess you can call that the before shot. And after. Now, this is just a water burnish. Um, the way I do it is after I burnish it down, just using water. Then I go back and I do another burnish with the gum drag. Then, um, I go ahead and stitch it. I haven't stitched it. Still haven't stitched it yet. The glue is doing a good job of holding it together and keeping it stable for me to do these other steps. I'm also going to burnish the inside of the, of the uh, belt slots. But anyway, um, then I'm going to go ahead and stitch it and mold it. And that, after I mold it, that actually softens the gum drag. So i got to go back over the edges and burnish them again. But since they've already been burnished, it'll be a lot easier. But the idea, just take a wet sponge and use it to wet the edges. Then I just take my burnisher and burnish the edges. Do this real quick right here. Give y'all an idea what a little bit of burnishing will do. I can see it's starting to take a shine already. There you go. And um, just do that over the entire edge. I think I need a little more water. Come back here and do it. Over here a little bit, and do the sides, do it on top, do the other side. Now, it doesn't quite fit in that white spot on my burnisher, so go ahead and use this end. And just keep doing that until I get it to shine like that all the way around, and then it's time to do it with gum drag. Well, do the inside of the slots too. Okay, we'll be right back. And that's it with the water burnish. And um, actually, the edges are already starting to lift because um, even though the water burnish smooths them and makes them pretty, they're not going to stay that way by themselves. So, the gum drag gets into the, uh, into the fibers and holds them down. So it can stay nice. But it's not used as a final finish. I don't use it as a final finish on my edges either. Because even so, with some wear, a little bit of moisture, the edges would, uh, would start to get fuzzy. So when I do my uh, final top coat, I do it on the edges as well. That's the thing about edges. It's not just a one quick stop thing. Um, you got to burnish them and then gum track them and burnish them and then you mold it and then you re-burnish them and then you put a top coat on and burnish them. So, As I'm concerned, it, once you start working on your edges, you work on them until you have a final complete product. And, well, here's this one again. There you go. This is my own personal holster. And those edges have lasted quite a while. A little bit of scuff there, and, you know, a little scuff here and there, but overall. They're doing pretty good. Well, I give the gum drag a few seconds to go ahead and soak in a little bit. And then get to burnishing again. You don't need great globs of it. 
Just enough to coat the edges. Let's see if I can do this. You can see the shine. Oops, see the shine coming up on that again. And the gum drag will help to keep it that way. But um, I've tried just using just gum drag instead of doing a water burnish and then using gum drag. And um, edges didn't come out as well. But doing a water burnish and getting them all sleek and smooth. And then coming back with a gum drag, I find that I get nicer edges that way. Well, I think you all get the idea. You do that with all the edges, including the ones inside the belt slots. Give that some time to dry, and then um, we're going to go ahead and stitch this thing together. Finally. See uh, when I get set up for that.